mathematicians, today we are going to multiply and divide by 10. We're going to use the place value chart and our knowledge of skip counting by 10 to help us recall those multiplication and division facts. Let's first jump in and get started with skip counting by 10. Join me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. You got it. Let's think about patterns that we see in these multiples of 10. I'm seeing that they all have a zero in the ones place. When I have multiples of 10, I'm gonna have that zero, see that zero in the ones place. It's a great thing to remember. So let's think about when we're multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10, what is happening with our place value? If I have the number one, and I say one times 10, you all know it's 10. What happened to the one? The one moved to the tens place because 10 is 10 times greater than one. Can I think about 10 times 10? 10 times 10 is 100. Hmm, again, what happened with that one in the tens? It moved to the hundreds place because 100 is 10 times greater than 10. And if I did 100 times 10, do you know it? It's 1,000. Again, that one in the hundreds moved to the thousands. It's 10 times greater now. Let's keep that in mind, that movement of those numbers on our place value chart. Let's think about 10 times five. I'll put five here in the ones place Multiply by 10, that's 50. What happened with the five? Went from the ones place to the tens place. 50 is 10 times greater than five. How about 10 times three? Make my three down in the ones place. Times 10 is 30. And that three moved from the ones place to the tens place. Excellent. That's multiplication by tens. Can we think about division? What would happen when we divide by tens? Let's start with 70. 70 divided by 10. Well, when I multiply to move to the tens place, when I divide, that seven goes back to the ones place. 70 divided by 10 is seven. That seven just moves on back to the ones place. How about 40 divided by 10? I'll write my 40, four is in the tens place, divide by 10 in the ones place. The answer is four. 40 divided by 10 is four. Excellent. So when we're working on our multiplication and division of tens facts, we're gonna think about the place value chart and how is that movement on the place value chart? Let's do a little practicing all together. 10 times four, think about our place value chart, is 40. 10 times six, 60. 10 times eight, 80. You're getting this, right? Excellent, let's do a couple of division. Think about our place value chart and that movement in the other direction when we divide. 50 divided by 10, five. 80 divided by 10, eight. 20 divided by 10, two. Nice work, mathematicians. That's our lesson for multiplying and dividing with 10. Keep on practicing. See you next time.